क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दैट इज व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ अल्कोहल विद एक्टिव मेटल्स एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्शन ऑफ अल्कोहल विद हाइड्रोजन हैलाइड्स सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So talking about the reaction of alcohol with hydrogen halides, we are going to talk about that. What is the action of alcohol with uh, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen iodide, or we could say that is hydrogen chloride. So this is all about, we are going to talk about here in this topic. So now let's start with the first one. That is, what is the action of alcohol with hydrogen chloride? So to talk about the reaction of an alcohol with hydrogen chloride, suppose if I'm mentioning the reaction, the general reaction that is, if I'm considering that is ROH as an alcohol, and suppose. If I have to react it with hydrogen chloride, that's that's it. But it has been found that the reaction is not very much easy compared to that of the reaction of HBr with alcohol. Obviously, we have to use certain kind of catalyst, and that catalyst is nothing but anhydrous seven Cl two, which is nothing but it is acting like a Lewis acid. So the combination of anhydrous seven Cl two along with that of HCl is basically known as Lucas reagent, and for that we have to provide a certain temperature also. So suppose if it is a primary alcohol, obviously we have to use anhydrous seven Cl two, and obviously the product that we could get because of the substitution reaction that we could get that is RCl, that is an alkyl here, along with that of that is H two. So this was the general reaction of the alcohol with hydrogen chloride. So now let us come back to the main example related to this one. For example, suppose if we are consider that is CH three OH, that is methanol, and suppose if we are reacting with HCl. And then also obviously we have to use that as anhydrous seven Cl two, and anhydrous seven Cl two along with that of the HCl is basically known as Lucas reagent as I mentioned earlier. So now the product that we could get is basically CH three Cl along with that of that is H two as a byproduct. So here we have to provide that is temperature that is higher temperature that only the product that is alkaline will be popping. But what happens if we consider a secondary alcohol? So now let me talk about that also. Suppose, for example, that is if we are considering the secondary alcohol that is CH three CH CH three OH, and suppose if I am reacting it with HCl, so in this case also basically we have to use anhydrous seven Cl two. The thing is we don't have to provide high temperature. Even this kind of reaction it can be feasible at room temperature only. And in that case basically we could get that is CH three CH CH three, and here it will be basically Cl along with that of H two. So therefore, the condition is now basically different. But the catalyst that we have to use, we are using again this here also. And next, talking okay, about the next one, that is suppose if we have considered a tertiary alcohol, that is suppose if I have to consider a tertiary butyl bromide, that is in this one. So suppose if we have considered a tertiary butyl alcohol, and suppose we have to react it with HCl, and that also all the HCl that we have considered that should be concentrated. But this reaction will not require any kind of catalyst because there is presence of three methyl groups that plays a very positive inductive effect, and that is how basically they are making the substitution reaction very much easier. That is the reason that we don't need a catalyst like an anhydrous seven Cl two, and that is the reason that the reaction proceeds in such a manner that we could get that is CH three CH three over here that is tertiary butyl, I would say like chloride, along with that of water molecule as a byproduct. So this was the reaction of alcohol with hydrogen chloride, and now let us move on to the next one. So now we are talking about the reaction of an alcohol that is ROH with hydrogen bromide, that is HBr. So suppose if we react HBr with alcohol, it is important that is the HBr that is hydrogen bromide is very stronger compared to that of the HCl, and that is the reason no catalyst has been required in this case, and that is what only the thing that we have to do is we have to provide a certain temperature. And the reaction proceeds in such a way that is this H along with this OH it will be removed in the form of a byproduct that is H two. And the main product that we could get is nothing but R B R that is alkyl bromide. So this was one of the reaction that I was discussing about. And now let me give you the example related to, to this one. For example, if we take primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohols, all the reactions are very much feasible whenever it reacts with hydrogen bromide. Only the thing is the temperature should be more or less. It depends on whether we are taking primary, secondary, or tertiary. So let me give you an example. For example, if we consider that is C two H five O H, and suppose if we are reacting with that is H B R. So by providing certain amount of temperature, so obviously we could get that is C two H five B R along with that of the water as a byproduct. So this is how basically we can prepare an alkyl halide. 
from an alcohol using hydrogen halide. So this is what I was talking about and there is only one reaction that is going to be so let me cover that also. So now we are going to talk about the reaction of an alcohol with hydrogen iodide or this is thing that is HR. So in this case also, this is a general reaction that we really understand uh, very much because we have did the previous two and now the product that we could get is alkyl iodide along with that of H2S in my product. So this is the product that we could get and now let me talk about the reaction. So suppose if you have considered that is CH3, C, CH3 as I have mentioned over here and now suppose here also I am mentioning that is CH, OH, CH3. So it is been found that is whenever it reacts with HR. So the following product that we could get over here is that is CH3, C, CH3, CH2, CH3. This is I along with that of H2. So this is a special reaction that I want to talk about. So let me explain here that is, if you will observe here that is the OH is on this carbon atom. So therefore the substitution reaction should take place on this carbon atom only. But the product that we could get, we get a iodide over here that is which is attached to a tertiary carbon atom. The reason behind that is the formation of tertiary alkyl iodide is more compared with that of the secondary one and that's the reason that we could get this kind of product. So this was nothing but the reaction of alcohol with hydrogen halide. So that is what I want to explain in this topic. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.